Is that close you're doing, enough? You're doing so good. Follow the blow dryer with the brush. Oh, you're burning me. That's just TMI with your host, Dee Dee and Sir Dre. Hey y'all, it's your girl Dee Dee from That's Just TMI. And I'm here with Tiffany and Sir Dre. Hey! Unbelievable. Yeah, we're in the basement. This is fantastic. Yo, I'm happy to be up in the Barrels Mansion. <laughs> we're at Thanks. Tiffany Don Inc. And I'm also getting my hair done. Yeah, man. Listen, right before the camera went on, well, right before the camera went on, I was blow drying Dee Dee's hair. He you did. should have seen I was tackling those roots. We're gonna show it. Oh, my roots aren't that bad. Uh, well, I guess I can't see them. Right. Yes. So we're here with another owner of a black business, and it's amazing to showcase her work as she'll be doing my hair. And this is the only time of the year where my hair can actually stay straight. I'm getting mm. a silk press. Woo! That's right. What's a silk press? It's like straightening, but like high tech. So why didn't you just say that? I'm straightening my hair. Do you yes. like that better? Ding, ding. Yeah, that's good. So Tiff. Pause one. Um, translation. What's happening? Good. Now wow. to the next question. Um, how long have you been doing this? Uh, now six years. Six years. Yeah. Amazing. Wow. Yeah. As of uh, November seventh. Okay, so you have an anniversary coming up. It'll be seven years at that time? No, no, no. It'll be six at that time. It's like five. A little oh, okay, so it's not really six. It's five. In like a month. Okay, well. Less than a month. All right, then you we're know, there. We'll, do, we're we'll, at the six. we'll film it and then play it on the eighth. And then wow. you can say it's been six years. Unbelievable. Guys, <laughs> get me out of here. <laughs> no, you're home. <laughs> we have to leave. So, six years of... And let me just say this, Tip. Honestly, I have... Low key, like really, really low key, because you know the nature of our friendship, it, it doesn't always work. But I have watched um, on Instagram, mm -hmm. you are really good at what you do. Yes, she is. And it's not just like black people here, it's all kinds of hair. Mm -hmm. um, I, I, I should say this, and because it's on film, I know I won't be able to take it back, but I'm actually really impressed with what you've done. Um, as a business owner, seriously. Wow. Yeah, absolutely. Guys, nice. the compliment when you can get it. Yeah, wow. long worship. Long worship. Wow. I co-signed what There's you no just said. There's no way I would have said that without worship this morning, but it is. <laughs> it is the truth. So, you. always, you've always wanted to be a hairdresser? No, I wanted to be a backup dancer before. Really? Yeah. yeah. Like, when you say backup, like, off camera, or? <laughs> <laughs> No, it's just because sometimes people are like, yeah, I want to be a backup dancer. And then you're like, but you're not even clapping on beat in church. No, but I'm great. Really? Like hip-hop dancer, R&B? I can do anything. Really? I can do all things through Christ. So. That, that's... Great exactly. verse, but not necessarily for the backup dancing. But I, yeah, I why get not? No, I get your point. I, <laughs> I understand it. You wanted to be a praise dancer. No. Uh, this is crazy. So did you yeah. start doing that? No. So you never, oh, so it's just a, like a pipe dream. A lost dream. So glad that it's lost. This is better than wow. what we're found here. Wow. Yeah, I love so, this. So to be honest with you, yeah. I, I wanted to be um, a news anchor or weather girl or something like that. Oh. Ah. Yeah. Okay. Really into the communication, being on camera, you know. Mm -hmm. kind of Public thing. speaking is, yeah. Yeah. So... <laughs> Why are you laughing though? Um, I wasn't the only one laughing. So, are you laughing with Deandra or with me? I think so, you were laughing at me. All right, I might have been, but <laughs> you can't confirm or deny that. So, you wanted to be seriously like communication stuff. So, why yeah. the weather? Why not like a crime fighter? I could see what? like wow. Okay. okay, so six years. Mm -hmm. You wanted to do communication. And, yeah. yeah. Um. In. You know, it just never really happened. And to be honest with you, I got to university mm -hmm. and 
you know, the typical, what are you going to do? What are you going to do? And I'm like, yeah. oh my God, I don't know. Right. And I literally just chose English. <laughs> oh. Yeah. Like I didn't, I didn't even have an idea at that time. You mean as a major? Yeah. I just, oh, okay. oh, well. I'm like, I'm going to have to use this anyhow. Sure. And then what happened, I ended up when I graduated and this is after when I was in hair school. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I was working for an online hair magazine. Oh, oh wow. nice. that's yeah. so cool. Yeah, so it kind of, it worked out in some sort of way, but um, if I had it my way, I would not have went to university. And if I did go to university or college, it would be for business. Mm -hmm. Can you let go for here the next time you want to say something with a lot of emphasis? The, the passion. I felt it's okay. like her roots were about to pop off. What? So okay. No, because my roots are strong, <laughs> right, Tiff? This yeah. is, we'll talk about hair care and the importance of hair care, but we're getting the history of the Tiffany Dawn And I'm business. hoping to get a nice lace front. Yes. Are you going to match the color of your hair? Though? Yeah. Good. 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 I no. don't, it isn't. I don't like when people choose different colors. It may not be all the way in, but it's in for many. What? What? Gray is not in? Or, sorry. Question. Have you dyed any of your customers here? Gray. Gray. No. Oh. But she probably put in gray braids. Yes. Gray hair. Yeah, they'll put in but the But she knew what I meant, and she still chose to say no. Because then <laughs> for her to have said yes would have affirmed my gray hair. <laughs> she was answering the question that was asked. You guys? I don't know why. No, there's a lot happening right here. You lot. So you graduate with this English degree. <laughs> right. And then you're like, okay. Wagwan. Wagwan. What's, What's going happening? on? What's happening? Yeah. Right. Okay. So, um... After that, I graduated, I came home, I was working at Crawford for a bit. Okay. And now then, Crawford Adventist Academy. Yeah. Big up Crawford, we're giving you a plug. <laughs> One of the best schools on the planet. And they're following us on, Christian on Instagram, education. so woo. Woohoo, big up, woo. Wow. Omega. Okay. All right. So and you, uh, yeah, I was working there. Yeah. And honestly, I thank them for my beginnings mm -hmm. okay uh, right however i felt like if i stay where mm -hmm. i am mm -hmm. i won't be able to grow okay right so it's That's a good. great foundation yeah mm -hmm. but i needed to grow okay therefore that means no i don't want to be the english teacher mm -hmm. so um, you, weren't, you weren't teaching english while you were there no i was actually <laughs> in the the, I was a registrar for high school. Oh, okay. Oh, okay. Yeah. Okay. Um, and from there, um, it's just a crazy road. I went to York. I did HR. After I, that? Yeah, I didn't want to oh. do... Because um, oh, wow. they were saying, oh, well, if you have English, then you could teach English. And mm -hmm. I'm like, yeah, I don't want to teach the kids after I had my experience. Yeah. Got it. You know? Got it. And then I was like, oh, I'll do teaching and development. Mm -hmm. workplaces oh. and then so clarify what's that mean when you say teaching and development so an hr okay yeah with hr there's you know if you have any new computer programs for the company oh okay. and stuff like that you would teach you know the people there but i'm mm. okay. something to that effect okay. and then uh you know, I was told, well, that doesn't make sense. That's not a good idea. Blah, blah, blah. Okay. And that is the point at which I had to mentally sift out what people were telling me. Because yeah. I felt like you cannot allow somebody to tell you your destiny because you don't know my future. And my yeah. version of success is not going to be your version of success. Look at you. And so activist also. Well, I mean, they were talking big talk and now their children come to me and I'm getting all your coin. So it's just That's amazing right. yeah. that you had the nerve to tell me that mm -hmm. okay. I was making a mistake by not doing my masters. Okay. Uh, or whatever. Mm -hmm. Um yeah, but the the fact is I can't listen to the people. And, and by I, the way, you guys can't see this right now, but at the back <laughs> These curls are like perfect, like from behind. It's like, do you remember Little House on the Prayer? I mean, I'm a little bit older, but Laura Ingalls used to have some curls at the back, and then her, her mom would swipe right. 
<laughs> so the curls are okay, fine. So you do this thing afterwards, this HR thing at York, and then you're like, no. But in between this, like the way that you're doing here right now, and I know you've been doing this for six years, uh -huh. but clearly you didn't start six years ago. You have to have been doing here mm -hmm. a lot before then. Yes. Okay. I sure was. All right. So you practice on your own here or siblings, family members? So no, my sister and my mom wouldn't let me practice on them. <laughs> All right. Smart Until moves. they saw that I was, you know, good. Mm -hmm. Okay. And so I actually started on my doll. Ah, oh, you have a doll? Well, not here. It's oh, gone okay. in the garbage. Sorry. Mm -hmm. But when I was a kid, I had a doll that was up to the shoulders, and it was just the head, the neck, and the shoulders. Right. And it's big enough that I can do like styles and 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 braiding on it. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And then I started doing my friends hair. Mm -hmm. And from, were they good friends or? Yeah. Oh, okay, good. And then, um, yeah, just a lot of encouragement. Actually, I'll I'll shout out uh, to Neil Knight. The shout out to Neil here? Knight. No, but so why are we shouting? Because to her she's, friend. Oh, she's sorry. The one Here, that's who the actually connection. started to tell me to promote myself more than I was. That's did amazing. you do her hair? Yes. Okay. Did, did you actually bring her here to Lux too? Yes. What? All, All right. So now we can make up to Neil because I wasn't trying to like <laughs> the bridge between your friendship because we're here to talk about here. But now that I know that <laughs> you helped amazing. your friend get to the locks. Look, Tanil has some fantastic locks. Yes. Tanil, look, we don't get along, but your locks are fire. <laughs> oh, yeah, nice. so I actually started her and her two daughters. Oh, nice. So okay. they're my first family of locks, but yeah. Oh, nice. Okay. So I would say Tanil and Vanessa, they okay. um, really encouraged me to expand and have people then come to my house and that's kind of how my clientele started to be honest with you nice from Tanil's book club at the time mm -hmm. and then Vanessa she was working at some place and mm -hmm. you know people would come to me from them oh it's really? amazing that yeah. support that you had so yeah. in terms of using your friends as guinea pigs I mean oh, sorry <laughs> test subjects I mean as Clients. Oh, wow. This is a rough one. Okay. How long until you actually then go to school um, for this? About two years later. Ah, okay. 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 Yeah. I went to school in 2013. Okay. No, 2012, I think. Mm -hmm. And I graduated in 2013. Good for you. I think. Oh, okay. Something like that. Nice. Yeah. So, all right, you go to school, um, and I, I want to ask this question, and you don't have to answer it, but I'm going to ask it, because right now, everybody is wondering the question I'm about to put out there. What is it? So, because we do come from a Caribbean background, mm -hmm. Caribbean parents are like, you need to be a judge, right. a doctor, a lawyer, right. um, a VBS registrar, I'm anything, <laughs> anything, right? And really and truly, um, hairdressing, or is it the right, am I using the right term? You term? are. Okay, you are. so hairdressing, it's not like one of the, the, the um, professions no. yeah. that are on the list of things that parents want to hear that you're mm -hmm. about to do. You're talking the real talk? Yeah, man, we're talking yeah. the things, translation. <laughs> We're talking the real, she said it, the real talk. No, no, real but the things. way she said it is never clearer than before. <laughs> we're talking the real things, real talk. Yeah, this is woke right now. We're about to transition. <laughs> so to some degree, Tiff, you are brave in mm -hmm. that as a, as a cultural thing. Yeah. This is not generally what we do. And especially since um, you have an Adventist background, we push yeah. a lot of education, a lot yeah. of music, a yeah. lot of, you know, you need to be the head and not the tail. And when people often right. talk about being the head and the tail, right. they most times, I don't know that they would say um, hairdressing right. is a forward not thing. Now, I'm not saying that that's true. Mm -hmm. I'm just saying that's what yeah. the culture says. Yeah. So yeah. how then do you launch out and say, okay, I'm going to do this thing that may be per um, perceived as a faux pas? Okay. Faux so pas. Translation. Why can't you translate that one? Oh, see, because you don't know French. I, know. Right. I don't know French. As you were, Tiffany, please, can we have an answer? You're getting your hair done. Incorrect. Okay, there Something we go. Something that's wrong. 
See, English major. We'll put it up on the screen. <laughs> <laughs> so uh, that's a very interesting question mm -hmm. because I I love my parents. Mm -hmm. My mom was also one of the ones that encouraged me. Let's go. Big up Sister Barrows. Yeah. You might not have trusted her early on the journey, but we're glad you finally got behind yeah. her. Good. Unfortunately, my dad was like, oh, that's <laughs> not real money. Yeah, 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 and yeah. so that is, I think, the trigger that it still affects me today in terms of like proving things to people. Mm -hmm. okay. And so, like, my friend tells me all the time, he's like, nobody thinks you make like two cents like and why do you even care if people think you make two cents mm -hmm. yeah like as long let as them, it's legal let them make right yeah. as long <laughs> really, as it's legal. really to be honest with you um but it, like you it, have legitimate custies oh yeah but here custies. custies yeah so this is not like kitchen mutation type thing um we'll look it up custies no okay so the here thing now so yeah, my <laughs> I had to kind of prove to my parents. So I before they even told me to like pay rent, mm -hmm. I started giving them rent. Nice. And nice. I instead of them asking me to like give more, mm -hmm. I started increasing Based. when I got more. Yes. Okay. And then They're responsible. I um because, you know, it's fake money. So let me pay you fake rent. Yeah. <laughs> you want to be a ting? I'll show you ting. Right. Mm -hmm. So then after, yeah. I started um, sending my parents out on vacations. Wow. Oh. I'm giving them allowances. Through this fake money you're making. Right. Fake money monopoly. Good for you. Right. All right. So it's kind of like after that and mm -hmm. after he's like my dad saw the traffic come through. Mm -hmm. That's when he started doing his part of it and like clearing out that's right. the, the snow so that people don't mash up themselves. That's right, because guess Again, what? It doesn't coming. make sense for him not to clear the snow, yeah, right. especially since he wants to go on that vacation. Right. But the barrel's big up. Okay. <laughs> I see you. So yeah. um, so that's how it started. Mm -hmm. How I got this space, mm -hmm. um, both my parents encouraged me to get a sink. Okay. Um, and so that kind of came later on mm -hmm. uh, but i i still feel that some people have that sort of yeah you're not doing anything attitude yeah. when they come in here like oh it's nice well what yeah, the man, hell the place, did you expect this place is yeah. posh right? <laughs> I, I think it's because people have this idea that if you're doing here like you're saying then they're just thinking okay i'm just coming to catch up in your living room while right. everyone else is still doing their day-to-day -day activities in no, the but house this is like a for real it's business a separate here. space and i love it yeah man, there's even yeah. like a place for like a cash register mm -hmm. cha-ching fake money <laughs> hashtag fake money right yeah hashtag fake money ah, you can have that you can put it as part of tiffany don <laughs> So they come here and they see that this is a, a, a proper business, and it really is. Mm -hmm. And if you haven't come to Tiffany and you're looking for a really, really, really good hairdresser, yes. I mean, you're literally watching her transform um, Dee Dee right now. Like, this is live right here, yep. right now. So if you, you're looking for a hairdresser, I think that you, you'll you hit a home run on this one. Wow, like you're making it look like tomorrow she's getting married. But guess what? She's already married. What? So, you better hold anyways, note. so some people don't really see this as whatever, but you've been able to like, so here's the question. So yeah. How many clients, consistent clients, like where'd you start and, and where, where are you now? Uh, so I was, I don't know number exactly, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. but I was working, uh, when I was working at the salon, I would only have times on a Saturday evening, a Sunday, and a Monday. Mm -hmm. And then I went to full days. Okay. Mm -hmm. And then on top of that, uh, you get like new clientele all the mm -hmm. time. Mm -hmm. So it, it keeps it consistent. Okay. I will say this, due to COVID, mm. things have changed. Yes. And I was just saying this earlier, like some, In a good way? Uh, some good, some bad. Because okay. my prices have increased. 
Okay. Um, but people don't necessarily need. Uh, it's more of like hair maintenance. Mm -hmm. Okay. So, people so don't they're have not as many places to go. Right. Oh, uh, so that's right. Like as often. Mm -hmm. Thank you for saying that. Like I, you know what? Yeah. I would have never actually thought that. But when you said it, it's true. Because a lot of times, your clients are going to be like, yo, I'm going out to the club mm -hmm. yeah. tomorrow night. I have a birthday, take, yeah. I have a you know what I mean? wedding, uh, yeah. this, this, this. So, and so yeah. they're like, yo, I need a setup right now. Yeah. So okay, so you're not getting different. as much of, uh, as that. No. No, no, no. But I like that you mentioned hair maintenance, because that is so important, because a lot of us... Including yourself, well, yourself, myself. <laughs> no, we don't know. That's why she got her hair wrapped. It's in conditioner right We now. don't know how to maintain our hair. And we don't know what to do. And especially with COVID, we're stuck at home. And the hair is just getting drier and drier. And we're not moisturizing it. We're not doing anything with it. Yeah, but so. if you would just wrap it. Watch this now, Tiff. If you would just wrap it at night before you went to bed mm -hmm. and just spray a little bit of moisturizer mm -hmm. and maybe once a week ask your husband to run some moisturizer along the roots. Okay. You could actually have it last a little bit longer. Tiffany, are you co-signing this? No. You know what? He's <laughs> not entirely wrong. Okay. I feel like that's an open-handed, backhanded slap. <laughs> So can you just tell us, can we just transition real quick? So, so yeah. like, what can people do? Like during COVID, this is a real reality. And um, maybe some of your clients, maybe I don't know what their financial situation is. And so they may not be able to, you know, um, do a lot of stuff. But I know that you've got a big heart. So you can tell them maybe one little thing that they can. It looks see? good. Can they see? In the yeah, camera? it looks good. Ooh. Laura. Yes. Yeah, let's talk about maintenance. So my dear friend here yeah let's talk about like a real head this head so honestly speaking due to covid mm -hmm. you know people have been going through it uh and trimming their own hair not um not putting in any treatments mm -hmm. or whatnot and really just kind of leaving Wait. their hair to chance now yep. what are you using for treatment do you have any of that stuff out right now I can we, can we show or are you like one of those that like make your own product like you buy a bunch of stuff and mix them concussion. together and stuff do you do that uh not all the time sometimes i do not all the time okay. um i actually used you know kenya what's her name the real housewives of oh kenya moore kenya moore yeah kenya yeah so i actually, kenya moore here care kenya moore here care Whoa, whoa, whoa. <laughs> I was looking at myself. It looked good. Yes, yeah, so anyways, can you more? <laughs> yeah, so she Church has a members. mask. <laughs> mm -hmm. I don't even know. That's a question. <laughs> <laughs> no, we're not going there today. Oh, but. man. Mm -hmm. um, yeah, I used the mask in her hair. Okay. And. Mm -hmm. um, good product. It's a, it is a very good product. You know, I would like a bit more in mm -hmm. the container. Okay. <laughs> but, yeah, that can, yeah. yeah, yeah. It's here in Canada, right? No, no I actually, in States. Yeah, so I actually got to before everything shut down. Okay. I was able to go to the Bronner Brothers Hair Show. Oh, okay. Located in Atlanta, and I actually met Kenya Moore what? this year. Do you have see. some pictures? I do. All right, I can so get them to yeah, you. when we post Please. this video, like I'm excited because we want people to know that you're a big deal. <laughs> I'm I mean, I also met. <laughs> Who else did you yes. meet? Do you guys know Derek J? Yes! I met him last year. He gave no. me a, a cutting class. Oh, really? Yeah. Sure. So you've there. like traveled yeah. to go and really Maybe master. Guys. Now, yeah. let me just that's say this. amazing. Those of you that are watching, like, don't let the smiles fool you in terms of what Tiffany has done. Mm -hmm. So she went to school mm -hmm. and she's gone to some of the hubs where really good hairdressers, black yeah. hairdressers and otherwise are so that she can bring that craft home. So good right. for you. Yeah, I really, I yeah. see myself, this is a, 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 a very, and I think it transcends through any discipline you're working in. Mm -hmm. um, you gotta be a lifelong learner. Okay. I do I not like think I'm the best hairstylist. I don't think I'm the best braider. Mm -hmm. um, I think you're actually really good. So best is relative. I've never seen, relative. I've never seen anybody that said, 
they came to you and the hairstyle was botched. I gotta be honest with you. Listen, Let oh, me. that's a good story. So <laughs> I had, I went somewhere else to get my hair done. Mm -hmm. And I kid you not, I don't even remember who the person is, okay. but this was last year. I kid you not, mm -hmm. when I saw Tiffany um, that day, I said, Tiffany, help me. Please, like, I can't live with this hair the way it is right now. And when I tell you Tiffany's service as a whole is just so exceptional, mm -hmm. I went to Tiffany, I was genuine, she saw that, like, I, I just needed help with what was on my head. And that's Tiffany what started everything. That's how we got here. Tiffany yeah, was yeah, able to assist me, and since then, she has been so helpful a in my... Listen. Listen, after... <clears throat> You started coming to Tiffany, if I there recall you know. correctly. You got engaged. So I think your husband was just I wow. want to scream. Wow. Hey, Akeem is over the I'm backyard. actually trying to fact check this so, right now. No, no, he's throwing up his thumb as if to say, I was just waiting for <laughs> Tiffany to do something. Well, she did do my and hair for our wedding. So, you know. <clears throat> so if and you're she, single. Amazing. My, my mommy loves her. So if you're single. Oh my gosh. Based on some of the research that we have, one out of one that have come to <laughs> Tiffany. Got married. That's a hundred percent. That that's amazing. You don't need to find me someone else with better results. So how can we make sure that Tiffany gets married? Sit down. I'll do your hair. Oh, <laughs> I'm gonna be bald. Bald and lonely. I'm not. I'm okay with bald, eh? But lonely. No, no. But it's like, <laughs> but I don't some, know that you're. But you saw what I was doing here when I was brushing the. <sighs> I don't know, guys. So I want to ask this question now. This is this is one of those social questions, and we'll come back to the hair thing. Because mm -hmm. I understand what you're saying in terms of, you know, because of COVID-19, a lot of things have shut down. People yeah. are not going out as much. Right. But I feel like there's also a social component to what you do in yeah. that we have the barbershop. Mm -hmm. So I go to the barbershop every single week when I go in there. Um, there's always something political that's happening you know, that's kind of like the place where we get to release our frustration. We talk mm -hmm. about life. It's, you know, all men. Right. <clears throat> I would imagine that it's the same thing in the salon, right? Like, yeah. this is a place. Yes, but it's more one-on-one. -on -one. Okay. I'm not yeah. allowing 18 million people, especially because due to COVID. Yeah. So, you're coming alone, or yeah. the person that's coming with you has to come with you and is assisting you in some way. Okay. But you're not coming here to hang out. Yeah. That's, that's number one. Okay. So, um, but even pre-COVID, what I really loved, like Tiffany mentioned, it's the one-on-one. -on -one. Cause yeah. like you're saying, yeah, in a barber shop, you get to let out your frustration, yeah. but there are more of you guys there. So there's multiple barbers and multiple people in there trying to yeah, do whatever. Yeah, in the barber shop yeah. is the only place where men actually have a voice on the planet. So oh, wow. we need that. So when they shut down the barber shop, there were a lot of guys. Great. So everyone was just mute? No, it's not that they were mute, but they were hurting. And then when they let the numbers go up and barbershops opened again, then they were able to get a measure of freedom. So uh, a, measure. a measure. Just a measure. Just a measure. It's not much, but forever long it takes to get your hair cut. So the one-on-one -on -one, um, yeah. and, and the social piece, the, the, the counseling piece, the wow. like what, what does that look like in, in your salon? It's actually, um, one time it got super emotional. Oh, wow. Uh, not one time, multiple times. Yeah. Yeah. It's been really, like, emotional. And sometimes I try not to get attached to the woman that I'm speaking. Because yeah. really, I get the most stories. Mm -hmm. it's, it's overwhelming. It is. Okay. And um, I try not to, like... Once I'm done with the client, I really try to leave that story or mm -hmm. whatever here mm -hmm. because it affects me. Yeah. Okay. It really does affect me. So these are not just customers or clients. These like become friendships, yeah. deep well, friendships. Uh, some try to get to the deep friendships, but... Yeah, well, we know that you're not going to let them in so easy. We're not so much talking about what you do with them. We're talking about what... <laughs> Look, I, what I will say is this. I want people to feel comfortable when they come here. Everyone? I, I think they do. Yeah. You want everyone, everyone? Every sense of... Everyone, including you. Okay, good. Yeah. A sense of before we turn on this camera, I was almost going to leave here in tears. But okay. I'm glad that we now have you on camera saying everyone. He really wasn't. 
You don't even know. Like, yeah, I guys, have feelings. You, we never said you didn't. Okay. So a lot of what happens in here is not just helping people to look a certain kind of way, but it's yeah. also listening to them. Mm -hmm. It's nurturing them. And you know what? There's a reason why we're having this conversation right now. Because I think that <clears throat> the, the, the hairdresser, especially in the black community, yeah. is so much more than just a hairdresser. It's, it's more than just straightening, texturizing. Mm -hmm. I yeah. think that there's a real like bond that yeah. happens in the salon. So I want to go back to something and I want to yeah. be very completely honest and you know, you're like, oh, I haven't heard complaints about Tiffany, but the fact is that I do make mistakes. Okay. Yes. And I think Everyone. me being honest with my mistakes and fixing it and handling the client in a proper way is really what helps me retain my clientele. Okay. Mm -hmm. Can you give it Which us is an very example? important in so any like, business world. Let's say one time I did this girl's uh um her flat iron. Like okay. or even a blonde, like doing blondes. Like I've messed up a person's blonde hair before. For sure. Okay. Blonde is hard. Um blonde is hard. Um I've messed up a flat well not really messed up. Um I like a flat iron it was fuzzing out right away right and that makes me then go and get a whole bunch of other things that help retain the hair yeah, yeah, yeah. and retain like the style right yeah. so it's like if that happens i will you know arrange for the person to come in so i can do it again mm -hmm. and that it may not be full price it may be free it depending on like what it is yeah yeah I really try to make sure that I am doing what I can as the business owner yeah. to make sure they have a good experience through and through. So with that being said, have you ever had a client come here uh -huh. looking for you to do wonders and you knew, like, we know that you want to get a Halle Berry haircut, Angry. but you have more of a alley hair. Okay, so this is... <laughs> A L E. Um, so wow. yes, so people have come to me and asked me to do things, and I am completely honest with them. Oh, you know, good. Your maybe that style is not your ministry. No, I want you to look not, at no. I want you to look at the camera. They need maybe to see. That's not what God has for you. <laughs> and your and you're here, like <laughs> right. And one of the main things I like to like talk about mm -hmm. yeah. is hair maintenance so i'm not just gonna do your hair because you want it done mm -hmm. i'm thinking about the aftermath yeah so if you do this right now yes are you gonna have eight strands left when you take it out mm -hmm. that's right and then want to come and blast my name yeah no okay. like, you know i remember yeah. sorry i remember yeah, when i wanted to so my hair was um growing back in because i had dyed my hair and i was like tiffany i want you to dye it all black like can we just dye it all black so i can get by my black hair and tiffany Tiffany sat me down and gave me the advice, the mm -hmm. pros and the cons, and, you know, looking at the health of my hair. And my hair isn't thick, and it's not, like, su like super thin. It's it's a weird in between, but it has a lot of different textures. Like, I'm not just, like, a, a two. Right. A two. I, I have, like, multiple different type of textures in my hair. So, you have, she looks at the big picture. She talks you through your hair. Sometimes I'm like, I think I want to do this hairstyle. And Tiffany's like... No, but That's I not your ministry. exactly, and I appreciate that because I'm coming in as a novice. I'm coming in seeing something online, which a lot of us do see a picture online, and mm -hmm. it's like, oh, this looks good on this person. Let me try it on me, and it may not give you the same effect, and yeah, it it hurts you because then you get upset <laughs> if you go to someone else and they do it, and then you're like, oh no, all the things that she told me was going to happen is actually happening. So, so you've actually left here and done your own thing despite the good I counsel. have never. <laughs> if you look through our con like our, our chat, sometimes I feel like I'm bothering Tiffany, but that, that's how much I, yeah, I that's love the advice. Yeah, she has a short fuse, though. She has a short fuse. <laughs> no, because I'll be like, here are, I'll send her like four or five hairstyles. I'm like, here are five things. And she'll be like, which one do you want to do? And I'm like... I don't know which one do you think will look good and and we'll talk about it and sometimes she's like okay so we're going with this one mm -hmm. and then i'll be the one that may show up here and be like so you know how we decided to do that one i want to do this one instead so your own wish then yes but no because then if she still comes back and says 
that's not good. It's not going to work for you. It's not your ministry. Mm -hmm. I'll heed the advice because remember, this isn't my field, right? Oh, Tiffany has gone to school. She knows here. So sometimes when people who just do hair as a hobby, because I can plait my hair. I could run a straight, uh, a flat iron through my hair, but I don't trust myself because I may be giving myself heat damage because I'm not putting the right sprays before right. I, I do That's so. You know, Look, like I'm so glad there, there are a lot of things. I may not be using the right conditioner or I may be using a shampoo because I actually went out and I bought the wrong shampoo and it stripped my hair. My mm -hmm. hair had never been so dry in my life like the hills of Galbo. listen i had to say tiffany i think i need a moment to to um treat my hair let's put in a treatment and treatments people i mean i'm talking but tiffany's gonna tag in treatments are do wonders do wonders yeah. for your hair so actually whenever i do a flat iron now i do like a treatment like a 10 minute treatment oh okay i wasn't doing that before but now you are I am. For yeah. everyone or? Everyone. So it doesn't matter if you're black or not, you need a treatment <laughs> before you do the hair. Like, I'm just trying to understand this thing because. Yeah, most of my clientele are black. Okay. But I make sure they get a treatment because you want you want your hair to be able to withstand what's the, the amount of heat that's coming. Okay. And so I make sure I do a conditioner, a treatment at the sink uh, for 10 minutes and then. Mm. I come over and I have like specific product that say for blow drying or on damp hair. Oh. So I have three of them that I use together. Nice. And then I have two other ones mm -hmm. that I use after when it's dry. And it literally says from from mid to end, I have some notes on it. Oh, and she does. Okay. So One I make sure three. I'm using it properly. And this has enhanced my, boom. my flat irons. Let me give another boom. Yes. Okay. Boom. And it's true because when you're at home doing this stuff, you don't use the right products. Yeah. Right. For the longest time, I wasn't using a, a heat protector thing spray for my hair whenever I blow dry it. And then you wonder, why are my ends breaking or why is this right. happening? Speaking of ends breaking, winter's coming. Yeah. How should we be protecting our hair? Like, Tell me. I want to know too. Yes. Well, we want to keep snow your over there. So. Okay. What does snow have to do with <laughs> Sorry, winter so you here. took that She's as an opportunity to, to, yeah. to get at me. I did. And okay. I think it and was, it was so funny. Long it was really good. Yeah, yeah, it was well placed. Nice subtle. The Lord is pleased. Sometimes God will give you the in. You got to take them. Yeah. So uh, winter is coming, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. which means uh, more treatments, more protective styles. But if you're going to do a protective style, make sure it's protective and not just you leaving it in for an obscene amount of time. And then by the time you take it out, your hair is also coming out because Mercy. it, you know, I it's know. not protective anymore. Yes. So there's more to let, a protective style. Let that it. sink in though. Okay. Don't, don't just do something and leave it in for a thousand years and expect good results after. Correct. That was on my heart. Wow. Uh, By the way, this um, first thing, I put it in my goatee. Why? Because I want you to flat iron it before I leave and you said I'm not I'm not doing anything. Okay. Actually you can use this. I was about to say careful because he might do it himself. You can do you can use this, but I'm not touching it. That's what you say now, but we'll talk about it later. I'm nervous. <laughs> <laughs> is this thing right here, this is gonna make it through the winter. So the, the idea you, is can that you protective stuff? No. in the winter. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Black women specifically need to be treating it often or before winter starts? I would say before and during. Like, okay. even if you have a protective style in, yeah. you want to make sure you're putting something on your scalp, but not like an obscene amount of oil like people are doing. You want mm -hmm. those thinner, lighter oils mm -hmm. that are not going to create. Uh, like a, a glaze over your scalp so your scalp can't breathe mm. and it's not beneficial so when you put a thousand pounds of black jamaican castor i was about to say top, and the dax and the blue magic and like, those type of you know what bags. don't you guys don't talk about the things that helped us get through our childhood no because listen i still have a buckle in my house i don't use it that much but like so I still have if it. you take the two oh. k's out and add two t's it's bottle 
That's yes. the worst soldier. So when we first came up from Jamaica, because I wasn't born here. So when I first came to Canada, that mm -hmm. first winter, we came up December 05. That first winter destroyed my hair, my mm -hmm. mother's hair, and my sister's hair. Right? Different culture. Yeah. The stuff that we could do with our hair in Jamaica and just leave it out because, you know, Jamaica's temperature and the weather, that wasn't going to... Yeah, but let's keep it real, though. That, that green Dax thing, that wasn't for <laughs> hair. That was to shine your forehead. Okay. No, I'm just saying I found that a lot of people that use that because they they you they try to get it to the edge, but then it would just run down. Yeah, but it, you know they would put it in before, it's all the way to your eye, eyebrows. They would put it in before they blow dry your hair, Do you and then once they blow dry Jamaica? your hair, it, are there mirrors in mm. Jamaica? You really think the whole country has no mirror? How you, how they drive? But are they have to mirror? No, but there's a generation of shine foreheads. That's why I'm just asking a quick it's question. Style. Oh, okay. Kind of like the baby powder at the top of the neck. <laughs> <laughs> I have so many childhood photos with the baby powder everywhere, just like everywhere, just <clears throat> from my ears down, just white. So I digress. So speaking of treatment, try not to put too much powder on your neck in this <laughs> season, especially with Christmas coming. You don't want people to miss take you for tinsel or something like that. Wow, really so cool. you need to be getting treatment before, <laughs> during, during and, and after. after. Yes. Yeah. Okay. And what else? Trim your hair. Trim your oh, trim lamps, it. my virgin hair. Trim your hair. Tell them! Trim your hair. Sure to fix. They trim. can't see me on camera. They don't need to see. Okay. They need to see this message and <laughs> let it sink in. When you don't trim your hair, it's like cancer to your hair. Mm. Wow. And that's real. Mercy. That's All right, as you were behind. <laughs> She's not the thing is, the thing is, no, and this is real. Okay. This is real because okay. it's so annoying. You well, have long hair, but you have eight strands of hair. If you just cut it, it will be a little bit better. Yes. You're, you're holding on to something that's doing nothing for you. It's making you seem like it, it's, it's insanity. It's, it's actually right. insanity. How did we get here? Are you trying to do the challenge? Wants to be uh, okay. here. Is that a challenge song right yeah, now? Yeah, they're doing a challenge. Oh no. Okay. No, there's no challenge. But it yes, just felt Deborah Cox coming. That out. was that was good. And the reason that's good mm -hmm. is because a lot of people, including myself, prior to actually having a faithful hairstylist, mm -hmm. Tiffany Don. Oh, I thought you were pointing to me. Um, okay. Wow. We have this idea. That you know, when pe when they say they're gonna trim your hair, they're actually mm -hmm. gonna chop it off. They cut more than they need to, right? So mm -hmm. people have a fear of even going out to trim their hair because they're like, I'm gonna trim my hair and I'm gonna lose all yeah. this length. But they're not thinking this the is already is unhealthy. Healthy. Right? It's unhealthy hair so that's there. But I think that transcends into their life. Oh, Ooh. so you think that? Look at you. I actually do. See, and I, it's I knew you were about to go on fire. We just had to ask the right question. Trust me, this so get one up. right here, this is all blue flame. <laughs> Lots of blue flame. So what you're saying then is you have found that there is a correlation I do. between how women, and I'm sure you might have a couple of men, keep mm -hmm. their hair. Yeah. And what's happening in life. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, 100%. Because you end up holding on to things that you should have let go a long time, a long time ago. ago. And it'll help you. So I have an example of this client. Mm -hmm. She was coming. She's First of all, she's using the incorrect products. And she's like, oh, my hair's clean. My hair's clean. I'm like, no, it's not. <laughs> it feels like there's Elmer's glue on it. Okay, oh, no. It's not clean. Oh, wow. mm -hmm. And so what should take... Uh, 25 minutes is now taking an hour because I don't want to rip out her hair. Because mm -hmm. you got to strip it down first, yeah. huh? Because I have to... No, well, her hair is super uh, tangly on top oh. of that, right? Yeah. Mm -hmm. So, uh, I tell her, you go home. When you go home, you got to... This is after plenty of conversations. And mm -hmm. I don't do this as a stylist anymore. I said what I said, and that's it. So, you want to listen? Then... If you don't want to listen to my good advice, I'm just taking your money and I'm okay with that at this point because I've already said what mm -hmm. I need to do mm -hmm. to educate you. So she then takes uh, these pictures. She doesn't take these pictures. She then takes, she then takes yes. these pictures, yes. She takes the pictures of what she's using and mm -hmm. I find out what the issue was. 
So she would wash her hair. Mm -hmm. However, she's putting this uh, pomade on it and running the pomade through. Now, a pomade is so thick that it wouldn't make sense to put it all the way through your hair. You should just put it on your edges because mm. it's so uh -huh. thick, right? Okay, nice. So her hair was clean, but then she did uh, extra stuff in there that would make it unclean. Mm -hmm. And so it would take so long to do her hair. And I, on top of that, I'm like, hey, your hair is not healthy. Mm -hmm. It's not healthy. Mm -hmm. It's long, but it's not healthy. And we had this dance for a year. And after a year, I'm like, I've actually had it. And she she stood right up in there and she's like, I don't like when you talk to me like that. I said, I'm not talking to you like that just to talk to you like that. Mm. I'm it's, trying to help you. She cares. So if you don't want to listen to this, then that's okay. Take up all your fake hair. <laughs> so just for the record, very quickly, I don't know who the customer is, <laughs> but because Tiffany has done that to me in the past, I understand. Wow. Her pain. It's just I don't have any fake hair to pick up and go with. <laughs> okay, this is... So not true. <laughs> oh. But I was like, honestly, like, what do you want me to say? Your hair's not clean. If it's not, you know? Mm -hmm. So anyways, uh, through speaking to her, mm -hmm. I found out that her mom had passed away maybe two years ago. Oh. And she was the last person to do her hair. her hair. Oh, wow. And so she was holding on to something. Mm -hmm. That she right? should have let go. What, which is also hurting her. And so at that point, I said, well, it's very possible to hold on to the memory yeah. and still not do this injustice to your hair. Because yeah. she still has to live with it on right. top yeah. of her head. Right. That's such a good story. Right. Like, I was looking for some sermon material this weekend. I think I found the story. No, because that's powerful. I mean, because the reality is everyone has a story that goes along with a thing, whatever mm -hmm. that thing mm -hmm. is. Now, because right, we're right, here right. in the salon, we're, we're talking about something that happened with the hair. And how true is that? And maybe that's part of, like, this experience yes. with Tiffany Don. I mean, because she's honest. I don't think you're too honest. I think you're honest. honest Some people may not appreciate it, but I think yeah. that people need to understand if they're going to come and ask you to do their hair, mm -hmm. they can't really just say, well, because I'm a paying client, yeah. I'm going to leave with my you. hair yeah. the way that I want to. Because really... They're not going to say anything except for who did your hair. Mm -hmm. Right. Right. And they're not going to say, well, that whatever is on top, that was what I decided. They're going to say, I went to Tiffany mm -hmm. Don. So good right. for you. And I think that, you know, right. more black businesses and businesses in general, they need to say no. Yeah. Right. Because this is more than just the dollar. This is your, your ministry, yeah. I would imagine. Right. It is. Yeah. And uh, the ending of that story actually is she ended up cutting off her hair. Mm -hmm. yeah. And um, to this day, it has grown back and it's so much thicker and healthier oh. at this moment right. because we had that conversation Good for you. a year ago. Can we dab or we dab? We can. Okay, maybe next time. You can elbow, elbow, elbow. No, I wanted to leave. No, he hand. wanted to do that. Yeah, yeah. Um, See, it was like a moment where, because normally if I do that with Tiff, she's going to be like, he's not going to actually dap me. Yeah. So I'm not going to. But because she was so all in on the story, she dropped her guard and boom. <laughs> <sighs> you feel happy. Isn't he miraculous? <laughs> <laughs> I'm so happy we're almost done. So let me hair. ask you this last question then. Um, in terms of hair, because uh, I think this is the, the, the other conversation that's now happening because of COVID-19. Mm -hmm. um, natural hair. Now, can I ask yes. you, is yeah. your hair natural? I mean, you've got it all wrapped up. Is this because of like you're doing hair? Like, do you wear your hair out? Is it generally wrapped? Like, um, I'm transitioning. In, into... Natural hair. Oh, okay. <laughs> yeah, it was the in two that really, yeah. really had me. Yeah, yeah, because you know Tiffany's interesting. Yeah, I change my hair a lot, and people cannot keep up with me, and they're like, "Oh, well, I God, why are you that? always changing your hair?" And I think that also comes from jealousy because you can't do that with your mm. hair. So this time I won't leave you hanging. Come on, please. All right, fine. It's still, it's still a dap. It's like Let a Let me do me, and you do you. you All know right. What I'm saying? Okay, like, so you're, don't watch men. you're gonna go natural in terms of what though? Like, how are you gonna go natural? Well, it's turning natural now. I'm letting it go out. Okay. Yeah. Do you know what the term means? Natural? Yeah. Without like, chemicals. Good. Yes. That's yeah. why I'm here. I'm not just here because I'm a pretty face. Okay. 
And action. So By the way, can I do one of those? Like, you're almost finished. I've been literally waiting. I'm so scared. Dee Dee, can I please just do one? Like you she's... can do the one closer to the, like... No, I want to do the front. Oh, all right, fine. Yes. You can do the rest of the hair. But where's the, um, the toothbrush? Like, what do you guys do to, like, make the baby hairs... It's not a toothbrush. It's literally a baby hair brush. Oh, do you have one over there? I mean, there are people that have been using toothbrushes. Maybe that's where you no, get it from. No, because I used to do finger waves before. I'm not your average pastor, okay? Trust me. <sighs> He's been in the hair business. Yeah, like, what I want to tell you is if I have to, I can do the gospel and a finger wave all at the same time. Wow. Remember, okay. Peter got out of the boat. Cha-ching! I don't even understand how Peter got into this. No, because waves. Everything is okay. Yeah, yeah. It's all connected. So you're going natural, which means without. Now, why now? Because I can. Well, you know what I mean. Like, here's the thing. I remember years ago, a lot of women were like, "Okay, you got to be natural. You got to be natural." There's a big wave of like. And then, I don't follow trends though. She makes That's right. Trends. You make trends. That's right. Can you I, say that in the camera? That one was. I don't follow trends. I make them. She makes her own. I literally, I can't. From clothing to hair, makeup, I do what I do when I want to do it. You can't tell me otherwise. So why are you looking at me? You're I telling them. <laughs> I don't know. I know you make trends. I'm not trying to like fight with you, Tiff. Like I'm here because I believe in your business. Let me yes. live. <laughs> I'm a little passionate sometimes. Okay, okay, good. Which we love. No, this we love is, the passion. Like, I knew it. This is your part. Oh, yeah. Nice. Okay. All right. So here we go. I'm going to help. All right. Yes, please help them. Yeah, because we have to make sure that we let the root lie down a little bit. Yes. Because okay, they, they, they like to wake up. We and, make sure they're sleep. and I've been actually calculating. When you put the heat on her hair, mm -hmm. it doesn't stay on for more than three seconds. Oh, okay. my gosh. Wow. Is that true or false? He's been counting. All the way through. So are we done? All right. So... From here, right? Just as a side One note, Mississippi to Mississippi. Tiffany three, actually Mississippi teaches. Um, what you talking about? How was that, Tiff? It was. It was. Fine. It wasn't I, bad. It was wasn't I, bad. You know what it is? I forgot to turn my wrist. Yeah, so. Can I try again? All right, you okay. do that one. Let's see if you know. Uh, well, let's see if you know. The thing is, if you're gonna do it, you have to go like this, but you have to let this tail come to the front. Okay. Because then we're gonna make it go back. Okay. All right. So. Just pull him up. Good. So when you cramp it, you're gonna cramp. Okay. All right. This is good. Okay. Mm -hmm. One. Oh, curl. Other way. Other way. Oh, yes, it's done. It's done. <laughs> Thank you so much. Wow. Okay. No, come to the. Come wow. On. Come to oh me. my goodness. <laughs> <laughs> you know, for the sake of this, um, I want to leave it. No. Because. No. This is now no. Tiffany, Don, and Dre. Yeah. But this isn't the business. It's that... not that bad. I never Look, said no, that. But, but I want like she slept. On I want to leave here and say yeah, but Tiffany course, Don that's not what I was going did for. my hair so Because what I was trying to say is don't sleep on Dee Dee by giving her the <laughs> sleep in the hairstyle. Wow, I like wow. that. That's very good. Except no. Yes. So I was actually saying Tiffany right, does um does classes. Oh, you do classes? Yeah, she, she taught a couple friends of mine how to braid and yeah. all this stuff. And I love that aspect, the educational aspect, because not everybody knows how to... How it's to fantastic, Dee. I know! I, I tell you, I get myself together when I come here. You know what? We should have had some, like, cultural music at the end. So, like, as soon as she put in that last curl, it would have just... Hey! Get up there, dress up there. Tell the people all Kings the things. Jamaica. Make, yes. Um. So during COVID, oh, I started yes. a show called Tiffany's Closet. Mm -hmm. And basically, the concept behind that was people have leftover hair that they don't use. And oh. so the idea of the show was to take whatever you had left over mm -hmm. and do a style out of it. Where would they get the leftover hair from? Like if they do braids they and they have braids multiple or packs or of hair. Oh, and yeah, yeah, yeah. They yeah. Have okay. too much. So you're basically using whatever you have. In your Remaining. Because right. remember the stores were closed. So right. I thought that was such a good idea. Yeah. So I had like 10 episodes of that. Mm -hmm. Oh, nice. Yeah. Um, and then that kind of 
made me uh, want to start a YouTube channel, which I started. We'll put the link. And then... It's on the bottom. Yeah, right there. Ding! Uh, so also, I did... I was doing... I was teaching how to braid, but it was in person. So now I just transitioned online. So you can sign up for Teachable and you have access to that all the time. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So, What's and that's really... Page? What do you mean? Your YouTube page. Oh. The thing we're talking about. Tiffany. Right <laughs> <laughs> Tiffany Don, your hair bestie. Mm -hmm. Yes. So that's Tiffany Don, your all, hair bestie. It has all the um, episodes and a little inspiration and a little commercial there. I was playing around with editing. Tiffany Don as in like soap? D-A-W-N-E-S. Okay. Uh -huh. Unbelievable. Tiffany Don, what's the next part? Your hair Your bestie. Your hair bestie. Because There's a lot of she's Tiffany the best out there, you know. for your hair. Your hair. Because she's all about that hair care. Oh. Oh, that's a new one. Yeah, that, that one's like... That one we can't let you use. Like a foghorn. Unbelievable. Look at you. This is nice. Mm-hmm. Like, share, subscribe to... Tiffany Don, your like hair the, bestie. The fact that you have the um, thing there, the the stocking foot. <laughs> that's nice. The wake up? Yeah, yeah. That's... And look at this. Look, there's a lot of people watching your content, yes. and we hope that you'll get some more subscribers um, yeah. through this conversation. Look, you've watched um, Tiffany Don literally do Transform this hair. Me. Like right here Before and right now. I mean, even though they kind of touched on the last part that I put there, I'm not throwing any shade. <laughs> All things work together for the good. So, I'm Tiffany, me right <clears throat> now. Yeah. Um, is there any last words that you'd like to, like, share with those? Because I, I feel like you're going to get some, some new customers uh, through this conversation. You know, if you have a dream mm -hmm. or a hobby mm -hmm. that you feel... Um, God is really pushing you towards to expand and go beyond. I I would really prayerfully do it step by step, um, and and really try to not necessarily listen to only positive people around you, but listen to the people that are giving you good counsel. Oh, that's nice. Mm -hmm. Good counsel is not always going to be positive in your sight. But it'll be good for your business. Yeah. And what, mm -hmm. Right. So yeah. you, you really have to be able to uh, sift through these comments that people are telling you. Because you could be sitting on a million dollars just because of a comment that someone has said to you to deter you from going forward with it. Man. She has a yeah. lot of words. She has good. spoken. This is yeah. so good. Can you turn around and... And show them your T-shirt so that yes. when they get to YouTube, they'll know like that's your that's Tiffany your brand. Doll, she got it going on. Ooh. That's what it is right there. Sorry, can you back get away it, from the camera it. now, please? Yeah. Sorry. Thank you. You're not finished over there yet. No, so mind look. you, it's been there the whole time. The frame, right. the Tiffany doll. Yeah. Yeah, but that's like a double promotion now. Yeah. So, anyways, this is T M I. Thought provoking. Thought provoking. You have to say it too. Tiffany. Thought provoking. Okay, no, we're starting again. Yeah. Are you, you're able to do more than one thing at a time, right? Wow. Angry. Let's try again. Don't be angry. Let's just try it again. <laughs> this is T M I. Thought provoking. Thought provoking. Motivational. Motivational. Inspirational. Inspirational. Thanks for watching T M I, guys. Don't forget to like, share, subscribe, comment, click the bell. Follow us on Instagram, follow us on Facebook, and we'll drop all of Tiffany's information down below. Bye!